going on guys juniors fishing company another video so I've been kind of dreaming these up um, for the I really started thinking about them last winter this is basically just gonna be a super 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 small streamer um, my goal is to keep these between an inch and two inches uh, two inches being like the biggest of the big um, obviously that's relative but um, these are going to be tied on a jig hook so they're going to be fished um, horizontally and um, right here I've got a Umqua size 10 uh, 60 degree jig um, I've been tying a bunch of these it's a really quick tie this one um, I think this is a size 12 Orvis um, <clears throat> I've been tying these white a uh, couple black ones um, but today I'm gonna do a pretty standard um, shad pattern I've got 70 denier UTC um, that I'm gonna be tying with and again intentional about where my lead stops that should be where my lead stops is kind of where I'm going to put my eyes so I know when I'm tying this to stop um, if I'm putting any materials down to make sure that I at least have room for those eyes uh, these are just four millimeter fish skull living eyes or whatever um, so I'm going to bring my thread all the way back but I'm not going to tie really too far back there I'm going to kind of go right to about my where my hook point is <clears throat> and then I'm going to put three different colors of marabou down it's going to be like a dark gray a light blue and a chartreuse but I have to remember this is going to be fished like this so anything I want on top I have to put on first so I'm going to start with my this is kind of like a sky blue um, I'm not going to like put the feather on here and tie that off I'm going to just strip some of the feathers off or fibers off and then I'll just kind of work them in my hand and I'm just gonna really use the tips of this blue I've got a hook that is about um, an inch and a, or about a little over a half of an inch so I just want to make sure when I put this first one down it's the most important one to know that the length is right because then I can just um, base all the other ones off of it so if it's gonna be I'd rather have it be too short than too long um, but this marabou really mats down quite a bit so that would get me to about um, a little over an inch and a half which will be pretty perfect be just a hair shorter and I'll wrap that blue down and I prefer just to trim them right away keeps it cleaner now the next one I'm gonna do is gonna be gray same thing I'm gonna take my feather I'm gonna strip off what I want and the gray is actually gonna be a little bit shorter than the chartreuse and the blue. I've just kind of found that I like how that looks. The gray looks awesome in between these two colors. It's kind of like a cool little line that it makes when you get them wet. I'll get this wet and I can show you um, at the end. So the last thing I'm going to put down is my chartreuse. You can see <coughs> I've used this entire feather. I mean, one feather is going to make you a half a dozen baits. It's crazy how long or how little you use on such a small little streamer. And I'm going to get that about as long as my blue. I'm just going to tie it right on top. Trim that off. Now the next thing I'm going to do 
this bait is so short that um, most of the um, different dubbings and um, I'm losing my lead here most of the bodies that I'm going to put down so I've got um, ice dub and pearl but I've also been using some SLF prism this is just the case but this is prism one in pearl because these are shorter fibers so like you'll see with the um, the head that I'm going to do I have to break up the materials to make them shorter otherwise it just runs all the way down so you really got to be careful with um, you really got to be careful because you don't want this bait to get too long and you don't want too much running onto your marabou so I've just I'm going to use this SLF prism and I'm going to dub this on to my thread fairly loosely I don't need it to be crazy tight that's going to be kind of my body a little bit just again super super small and then I'm going to take a clump of this um, ice dub pearl and I'm going to just kind of hold it over here and I'm going to do a loose wrap all the way around and I'll cinch down onto my hook and that'll make it so I get at least a somewhat of a 360 coverage and then I'm going to pull all this back and I'm going to wrap on top not in front of the materials and you'll lose a bunch which is fine it's always nice to have a little bit of a comb and with, again with a jig this short you're going to have to trim quite a bit. Um, these fibers are really delicate, so you can always just kind of snap them off too. I'm going to get all those back, and now I'm going to put down my dubbing. And I kind of want my dubbing, maybe I'll put a little bit more of that. I'm going to put my dubbing right on or up to my bead head. So I'm just going to put a little more. Down there and I'm going to come right up to my bead head. And I've just got the tiniest amount. Um, I'm going to do silver. This is um, laser dub, super popular, common for heads. And then um, Bruiser Blend, um, Fly Fish Food. I don't, they have a junior, so if you are thinking about tying some small streamers, get the junior. Um, I just, uh, you can't have everything. So um, you kind of just got to improvise. So I took that um, Bruiser Blend and I just, I took it out of the pack and I ripped it in half, stacked it, ripped it in half again and this is kind of what you come up you end up with because I don't want this dubbing working its way all the way back here and it's really kind of tricky so I'm gonna have my white remember this is gonna be on the bottom I'm gonna have my white sit it'll be on my top of my jig then I'll kind of just fan that out a little, get a little good thread tension on there, and I can flip it. And this is where my laser dub is going to go. Um, again, these fibers just get long on you on such a small jig. So you just got to be careful. Put that on there. 
nice and snug. Separate those out. And now I am ready. I'm going to push back this white and I'm going to wrap on top of it. I don't know if you can see that. I'm not going to wrap in front of it. I'm going to wrap on top of it. If you don't wrap on if you don't wrap on top of it, um, your shoulders, the shoulders of your minnow are going to be pretty big and I'll make sure that you wrap on to this head and then I should have just enough room for my eyes so I'm going to kind of tease these bottom ones past my hook and I will lose some material which is a good thing because it's really hard to underdo something like this and it's crazy easy to overdo it. I have learned that. I've only made a few of these but um, you don't want to overdo it. It's supposed to be small. If you want a big one get some size twos and go to town. So now I haven't done this with any of my other baits. I'm gonna <coughs> whip finish off with my white and I'm just gonna put I've been putting red permanent marker on some of these baits just a little dot but what I'm thinking is if I put a little bit of red just a little bit onto here. Not too much. I'm interested to see how it's going to look. So I'm experimenting with a video. This one is kind of an impromptu. Now I'm going to be ready for my eyes. So I've got, again, these are Fish Skull Living Eyes 3mm Ice. Um, I do like the uh, the earth tone ones too, um, but I'm going with the ice. And you can see I'm going to put it right in between the bead and where my body starts. I'm going to put down, or I'm going to flatten out this thread just with a little pinch of the pliers, and that'll help fit my eyes on there. I'll put a little. gel Loctite You can use whatever you want. The gel just sits better. I'll take my eyes One at a time. These things are tiny I don't have too fat of hands though and I'm gonna work that right onto the side. Now with such a small streamer I want this eye to be farther down here than on top because I want to mind this hook gap. So I don't want this eye sitting too high up I don't want it to get in the way if I'm trying to catch a fish. And just line them up as best you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. Should be good. And kind of pull all my fibers back and I'm going to pinch those eyes. Now, I don't have any thread on there anymore. Um, I can take some UV, this is just loon thick, and I'm going to apply it mainly to the opening there and there and then on the eyes just a little bit. I don't want to build this up too much. If you 
I've ever made a streamer. This gives me a bunch of ideas when spring rolls around again to do some videos. And I can always add more. It's really hard to take it off. So I'm going to push this around. Make sure your bodkin's clean. I'm going to push this just on to my material. So now I've got it kind of worked around. And I don't really need to spin this a bunch or because that thick stuff's not going anywhere. I'm going to just pull back on my materials. Get that kind of tight. In the first few seconds of this, again I don't want some bulbous um, looking head and then I'm gonna come in here after this is cured and I'm gonna put down some thin and then that should be it that red now that I'm looking at it I should have done the red in the back or the whole thing. I didn't quite do all of it. So, there is your... How long is she gonna go? Less than an inch and a half. When I get this wet, I'll show you wet. Right now I'm thinking maybe an inch and a half. Small little vertical presentation for primarily uh, crappie. I'm gonna get this thing wet. We'll see how it looks. So here it is. <clears throat> wet came out to be not even, I mean, to be generous, no, just under an inch and a half. Um, I don't know if I said this is a 3 16th inch tungsten slotted silver bead, um, but yeah, it'll fish just like this. This tail should move plenty because it's super thin. That marabou will swim really well. Um, I'm really excited to, to try these out, and <clears throat> I've also, so I've, I've, I've got some hooks up to size 8, um, these are nice and big, so, you know, I can put a 732nd head on here, and uh, maybe make this a 3 inch bait, and uh, jig for some walleyes too. Junior's Fishing Company, juniorsfishing.com, we'll see you on the next one.